Hey guys, Andy here, Turbo's Toy Box. Just a uh, long weekend uh, playing with cars, and uh, unfortunately, I just wasn't smart enough to turn on the uh, recorder here and kind of catch a glimpse of what I was doing. But I fought some with a odd brake caliper situation. Um, I just thought I'd give you guys a, a little something to look out for, something that I'd never seen before. Um, called a couple of friends that are um, you know, legit certified auto techs and uh, you know been doing it for years um, with some suggestions but basically what I had was 2009 Pontiac Vibe and the rear twist in calipers the pistons didn't want to twist in like they were supposed to so we went to the local auto parts store got some replacement remanufactured calipers for the back we put those on um, new pads, new rotors, um, calipers, uh, blood the brakes all out, and um, we had a situation where um, you had to still pump a brake pedal um, to get any pressure. So um, you'd, the initial hit of the brake pedal would go all the way to the floor, and then you had to pump them a couple of times, and you get a rock solid pedal and no fade. Um, you know no issue like that so I mean it was obvious with no fade there's definitely not air in the system but we just I couldn't pinpoint what exactly was causing um, the lack of pedal so uh, pulled the rear wheels back off it and uh, had somebody pump the pedal while I was watching and what I found was on the driver's side rear um, the piston would actually retract in, I, I called it like a turtle head, the piston would retract back in as soon as uh, the person let off the brake pedal. So um, anyway, I got a quick video here, I'll show you that. And, uh, but a brand new, um, you know, called back to the parts store, thankfully they had another caliper in stock, was able to go down, swap it out. Um, after exhausting tons of other options, you know, thought maybe more bleeding, thought maybe the ABS module needed to be bled, went through all that kind of stuff um, with absolutely no luck. So uh, thankfully they had another caliper in stock, uh, went down to the parts store, swapped it out, brought the new one home, you know, within a couple of minutes, had it swapped back out, bled, and uh, brakes were rock solid right where they need to be. So it's a little, little tip, little something to look out for, um, kind of odd, something I'd never seen before. And uh, just thought maybe you guys would be interested in checking that out. So here you Turn go. that up. As you spin. Pump it. Okay. Let up. So has anybody seen anything like that before? Um, I, I'd be really curious if you have. I just, this was something totally new to me. And um, yeah. What other odd kind of brake situations have you had? I've, I've had a few over the years. Um, had brakes that slowly applied themselves as you were driving. Um, in my uh, second generation Toyota pickups, the further you drive, the harder and harder the brakes would apply. Um, found out that if you got out and actually unplugged the vacuum line off the booster, it would release the pressure on the brakes and you could drive again for a little ways. So therefore, bad brake booster. That was an interesting one to figure out. Um, I had another one where I had no brake pedal and um, it was fine at first sitting there it was fine as soon as you drove the car any any distance whatsoever first time you go to hit the brakes you wouldn't have any pedal spent tons of time and energy and money throwing parts at it come to find out I had a loose axle nut so yeah always weird things that you figure out along the way and uh, yeah anyway thanks for watching comment What's your weird break scenario?